Let's learn about how to use states in RPG Maker's database to create buffs, debuffs, and other conditions that affect actors. You can name the state and set up an icon for it, which will appear in the menu and battle scenes when an actor is being affected by the state. Priority dictates which state icon will be displayed if an actor has multiple states, with 100 being the most prioritised. If two states have the same priority, the most recent state icon will be displayed. The restriction affects what the player is able to do. None means the actor will not be restricted. Attack an enemy will force the actor to attack an enemy. Attack anyone will force the actor to randomly attack either an enemy or an ally. Attack an ally will force the actor to attack an ally. Cannot move will prevent the actor from taking any actions. The SV motion and SV overlay will decide which graphics are used when an actor is affected by a state, if you are using the side view battle system. You can also select how a state can be removed. Remove at battle end means that the state will be lifted once the battle is over. Remove by restriction removes the state if a different state is applied to the actor with different restrictions. You can also remove the state after a certain number of turns have passed via auto removal. Action end removes the state once the actor has finished their action, and turn end removes the state after the turn ends, but before returning to action selection. There is also an option to remove the state once the actor has received a specified amount of damage. Outside of battle, you can choose to remove the state after a specified number of steps on the map. You can type in your own messages to display when the actor is inflicted with the state, when an enemy is inflicted with the state, if a state persists for another turn, or if the state is removed. You can also use the traits section similar to how it functions in the actors and classes tabs to define how the state will affect the actor. Thanks for watching and happy game developing!